It is uh, the third day of the vlog here. That's the new word I learned, video blog vlog. I'll be using it a lot. It's about 12 noon. I've been up for a few hours. Uh, there was talk about going surfing this morning, but it was pretty swamped out because of the high tide and the full moon. Uh, so we didn't go. Uh, I was on the internet doing some work, listening to the feedback. And now I'm going to go ride my bike to pay my phone bill. I like to ride my bike to do things of purpose, like go to the bank, pay the phone bill, the cleaners, that type of thing. Uh, that way I get, you know, two things done with once. I get to get some exercise and I get some, uh, some errands done. It's a beautiful day here in Long Beach, California. You know, I think those of us who live in SoCal, uh, we take the weather for granted. I know I do. What better way to enjoy it but the, a nice bike ride. So uh, that's it, and uh, we're going to start recording soon. Peace. Ten points if you can tell me the location of this new Long Beach icon. Anyone know? In the studio, in the studio. Ooh. Okay, so here we are. We had to stop our recording session because we were getting some weird buzzes out of the first steel drum. So we tried the other steel drum and we got some other buzzes. So now we're, uh, we're changing the stand and I had to uh, recrimp one of the wires, which is good practice for me. I haven't done it in quite a long time and um, yeah, I suck. <laughs> but I think it's all good now. Dave Berry, I need to see you. <laughs> Studio cat. Well, we got a lot done today in the studio, but we also have the realization that um, this is going to take a few more sessions. Uh, I thought maybe we could finish today, but it's not going to happen. Probably one or two more sessions to get this one song done and move on to the next one. Full moon tonight. Looks great. So it's about 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. And I wanted to get to the end of this video a little bit earlier today as the last two videos have been, uh, have been edited at like 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so it's a Friday night. Um, I decided to stay in and kind of keep it mellow after our recording session. Uh, to share some insight with that a lot of people ask what do I do when we're not performing and To tell you the truth when I'm not performing or if I'm not gigging a lot. I really enjoy the quiet time uh, I enjoy the alone time uh, I, I can't ever really seem to get enough alone time uh, being that my my biz is being in in party atmospheres all the time uh, the last thing I want to do when I'm, I'm not working is go to another party, uh, even go out to restaurants or even be around a lot of people. I love people. I'm a very social person. I always have been. But um, on my nights off and, and months like January and February, uh, I'll take any work that comes in. But if I don't get any like this weekend, we have no gigs at all, I will take that too. I will enjoy it. You know, As long as the bills are paid, we, we make it work. In regards to our YouTube channel, uh, thanks everyone for checking that out and on Facebook too. I would encourage people to go uh, join the YouTube channel, become a subscriber because we've had lots of views already in the last two days but no new subscribers. So I know you're out there watching, I'm seeing the comments and the emails and everything and it's all good but we'd love for you to subscribe, we'd love for you to join the Facebook page as well. And I have a question from someone named Key. How did you start in music and is your family musical? And her last question is how did your how did your band form? So I get these questions a lot. How did I start music? I think a lot uh, just just like a lot of other people uh, playing violin in fourth grade. I stayed with the music programs all the way through about my freshman year in high school. 
Uh, I went to St. Anthony High School. There wasn't much of a music program there, and I participated with nothing with the high school, musically speaking. I was studying privately at that point uh, on clarinet. My first year of college, I was on a clarinet scholarship, and, um, and I switched on over to percussion. And now I'm a percussionist, and I'm a singer, which that's a whole other story. Uh, but I, I started through the school system, but I always studied privately. I had private drum instructors, I had private uh, percussion instructors, uh, private clarinet instructors. I went to Cal State Long Beach, I went to Musicians Institute. I'm still studying. I always believe, for me personally, I just always want to be studying something. Uh, so I shift every three or four years and move to a different field, but I'm always studying. Was my family musical? I guess so. I guess in the sense that all, all us ethnic people love to get together and sing and play and celebrate, I've noticed, you know. Whether it be like our Pacific Islander parties, my father was Filipino, or my mother on the Mexican side. Um, you know, she's a great singer, but doesn't realize it. Uh, I know my father strummed some guitar. Uh, my brothers and sisters all played, uh, but none of us were professional. I think I was the first person to kind of set on out and do it um, full time. How did your band form? Well, without getting into too much detail, I was working full time as an investment broker. I did that for about two years. And I can remember the day, the moment where I actually thought, what if I was to book or use the principles of running this business of being a broker and apply them to being in a band. I had about 30 gigs booked before I even had a band in place. I actually marketed what I could. Uh, it took me just a week or so to get all those gigs booked. So um, from there, I went with, with what I was, uh, the people I knew. I was still playing, I was performing in orchestras at night. I was about 22 years old at the time. And I just uh, started forming bands with people that I knew, players around town. The band, the band grows and changes. I'm certainly running the band a lot differently now than I did, you know, when I first started. Uh, I learn, I've learned a lot. So the the players we have right now, uh, it's great. You know, 99% of it is picking the right people. So <laughs> I'm smart enough to surround myself with good players who have good dispositions, who are happy in life. And, uh, you know, we play happy music, so it, it, it makes sense. I think that's it for today. I'm trying to keep these videos short. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're all, they're about 10 minutes. So thank you for the feedback. If you have any more questions, I'd be happy to uh, answer them. And it's all good. See you next time. Peace.